everyone, and welcome back to Simply Love Sunday School. Hi, Bonnie. How are you today? I'm good, Tammy. How about you? Well, I'm good, too. Hey, how was your Christmas? My Christmas was really good. How about yours? Mine was good, too. Thanks for asking. Good. Good. All right, already. I think <laughs> we have used the word good enough times to last the whole week, Tammy. <laughs> well, I don't think so, Bonnie. And what do you mean by that? You see, our new Bible point for this whole month is that God is good, no matter what. Friends, can you say that with us? God, God is, is good, good, no matter, matter what. what. Good job! <laughs> when we say God is good, though, we don't mean that God is just okay. Right. God's goodness is different from how we describe, like, our breakfast mm -hmm. or how you did on a spelling test. Right. God's goodness is better than a good day or a good Christmas even. God's goodness is huge. It's what we hold on to when times are tough. Let's celebrate God's goodness with such a great song called God is Good. It's so important for us to remember that God is good, even when bad things happen all around us. Our new Bible buddy, Mac, is right here. He knows what it's like to have bad things happening. 
that's because Mac is a rhinoceros. Mm -hmm. Sadly, there aren't many rhinos left in the world. Right. Hunters try to kill them for their horns because they think their horns contain medicine that will help people. That's right. But that's really not true. A rhino's horn, as we're going to see in our video, is made of the same thing as your fingernails. Mm -hmm, exactly. Let's watch our video and find out more. Hello there. My name is Mac, and I'm a rhinoceros. The word rhinoceros means nose horn. I'm pretty sure you can guess how I got that name. <laughs> I live on the continent of Africa. It's hot where I live. So during the day, I usually hang out in the shade. Need to cool off and protect your skin? How about a good stretch in a mud puddle? For me, mud is a bug repellent and sunscreen all rolled into one. Oh, that's better. Hunting rhinos is against the law, but some people think rhino horns make good medicine. They don't. My horn is made of the same stuff as your fingernails, and chewing your fingernails never cured anything. Some people kill a rhino just to get its horns. Because hunters want our horns, we rhinos are what you called critically endangered. That means there's not a lot of us left in the wild. We don't really have a good way to protect ourselves, and that's not fair. I bet you know how it feels when things aren't fair. And someone in the Bible probably knew that feeling too. There was a fellow named Joseph in the Bible who had a beautiful coat. And that coat helped him find out that God is good, no matter what. It also helped him get into some trouble along the way. So I was thinking, maybe I should switch up what I wear too. Maybe. Or perhaps. Or this would be a new look. <sighs> Never mind. I'll think I'll just stick with what I've got. This color looks good with my horn. You know, life isn't always fair, but God is always good. In the Bible, book of Nahum, chapter 1, verse 7, it says, The Lord is good, a strong refuge when trouble comes. God is good no matter what. He'll help you out when you need it. He's a helper when you get in trouble for something you didn't do. God will help you when it feels like your world has turned upside down. God's goodness is for you, no matter what. Well, I've got to run, but I'll be back to tell you some more about myself and my tribe. For now, this is Mac, over and out. I sure wish that rhinos had a safe place to hide from all those hunters that are trying to kill them. Mm, me too. They need a refuge. A refuge? What's that? Mm, okay, so a refuge is a safe place to stay. Like when it's raining at a baseball game and you can find refuge in a dugout. It protects you. You go under a shelter or let's say it's really, really cold outside. You can find refuge in a warm, cozy house. Oh. oh, a refuge sounds like it's a really great place to be. It sure is, Bonnie. And you know what? The Bible tells us that God is our refuge. Well, that makes sense because God is our safe place to mm -hmm. be. Exactly. Even when bad things are happening, God protects us. We're going to learn our, our Bible verse for this month. But first, we need you. Let's see, where do we have our Mac sticker here? Do you have it over there? So we're going to grab our Mac sticker, and yours you will find in your take-home bag. Bonnie's going to hold it up there for you. And right on the sticker, you will see our Bible verse printed for this month. It's taken from Nahum, the book of Nahum in the Bible, chapter 1, verse 7. And it says, the Lord is good. And we're going to just put our hands over our heart like this, okay? So the Lord is good. He is a strong refuge. So it's not he is. I changed the words a little. Let's do that again. It's just a strong refuge. So we'll start from the beginning. The Lord is good, 
a strong refuge, and then you're gonna kind of look like you're clapping your hands, only you're gonna miss. And so we're gonna go like this, and the words are, when trouble comes, when trouble yeah. comes. So let's try the whole thing over again. The Lord, Lord is good, good, a strong refuge, refuge when, when trouble, trouble comes. comes. And that's Nahum 1 verse 7. Can we do that one more time, boys and girls? And we'll be working on it all month, so you'll have this down in no time. So it goes like this. The Lord is good, a strong refuge when trouble comes. Nahum 1 verse 7. Excellent job. In our Bible story for today, young Joseph annoys his brothers mm -hmm. and it gets him in trouble. Yep. Life gets really rough for Joseph for a while. But even then, God is good. <laughs> right, Bonnie. Please grab your story Bibles, everyone, because it is time now for Bible Stories with Ms. Becca. Let's listen. Welcome to another Bible story time. We'll be opening our story Bible up to page 83, where we talk about Joseph and his brothers. Jacob lived in the land of Canaan. God changed his name to Israel. He had 12 sons who would become the 12 tribes of Israel. This is the story of his sons. Joseph was 17 years old. He was caring for the flock with his brothers. He brought a bad report about his brothers to their father. Israel loved Joseph more than any of his sons. He made Joseph a robe of many colors. But when his brothers saw that their father loved him more, they hated Joseph. Now Joseph had a dream. When he told it to his brothers, they hated him even more. He said to them, hear this dream. We were binding sheaves in the field. My sheaf arose and stood upright. Your sheaves bowed down to mine. His brother said, are you to rule over us? So they hated Joseph even more. Then Joseph dreamed another dream. He told his brothers, the sun, the moon, and the 11 stars were bowing down to me. And his brothers were jealous of Joseph. Now his brothers went to pasture their father's flock, and Israel said to Joseph, Go now, see if it is well with your brothers and the flock. Bring me word. So Joseph went after his brothers. His brothers saw Joseph from afar. They said, Here comes this dreamer. Let us kill him. But Reuben said, Throw him into this pit. So when Joseph came, they took off his robe of many colors and his brothers threw him into a pit. And looking up, they saw a caravan with camels on the way to Egypt. Then Judah said, let us sell our brother to the caravan. His brothers listened, and they sold Joseph for silver. Then the brothers killed a goat. They dipped the robe in the blood. They brought the robe to their father. They said, tell us if this is your son's robe. And their father said, it is my son's robe. An animal has eaten Joseph. He is torn to pieces. Then Jacob tore his robe. He wept for his son. Joseph was sold in Egypt to Potiphar. So Joseph's dad loved him the most. And made him a coat of many colors. Just like this, look at that. I like that, yes. But that made Joseph's brothers angry and jealous. They even thought about killing him, mm -hmm. but they yeah. decided to sell him to some travelers instead. And that sounds bad, doesn't it? Yeah, it sure does. But remember, friends, even when things are bad, mm -hmm. God is good no matter what. Exactly. You know, we're going to see in our next lessons over the next few weeks just how much God helped Joseph. I can't mm -hmm. wait. But until then, we're going to have a fun craft project for you. Okay, everyone, so you're going to go in your take home bag and you're going to pull out, there's a white piece of paper that has a coat on it. You see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're going to need that. You're going to need a scissors. And then there should be a bag with a bunch of little foam, different shapes, different colors. And you're going to need those too. So what you're going to do then is with your little foam pieces, you've got your coat, um, your foam pieces, there's that white paper on the back. You're going to 
pull that paper off because it's going to make them sticky again. Mm -hmm. So we're going to pull that off. I can help you here. Or you may want to do this with the paper on, whichever works for you. And you can take your foam pieces and cut them any color, any size that you want. So what we're going to do with them then is we're going to actually take them and we're going to just put them on want some help? our coat. Yes. So feel free, Tammy. Grab what you can. We're just going to stick them on wherever. There's no right way. There's no wrong way. Any kind of coat that you, fancy coat that you want to make. And keep filling it all the way up. You cut your stickers and fill it up. Put, put a them. big patch on it. Yeah, yeah, you put new patches sometimes. Oh, that, oh, oh. <laughs> and sticking to They're you. sticky. Just kind of something like that. Show you what ours looks like so you can get a picture kind of what it, kind of like that. <laughs> Just keep cutting your foam pieces and sticking them on there, okay? That's fun. I like that. And when you know, when you see your colorful creations, everyone, we hope that it reminds you of our true Bible story and how Joseph's coat made his brothers jealous, but how God helped Joseph even when things got tough. You know why? Because God is good. What a great lesson today. I do agree with that. Joseph sure went through some really tough times. He did. And I'm sure that many of our friends watching today have gone through tough times, especially lately. I know you're right. That is why it is so important for us to remember that God will help us even through the worst days. Yes. Friends, if you feel afraid or upset today, please remember that God is always with you and he'll help you too. God is your refuge. He's your safe place. Right. God is good. Amen. All right, we're going to do an echo prayer now. So what I'd like you to do is fold your hands, bow your heads. I'll say the words, and then I'd like you to pray them after me, okay? God, you're not just okay. God, you're not just okay. You are constantly. You are constantly. Faithfully. Faithfully. And forever good. And forever good. Thank you. Thank you. For being so good. For being so good. To me. To me. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Awesome. We want to remind you to take out your coloring pages and your take-home flyers. I have them here. <laughs> um, take a look at them after our lesson. It's the um, coloring page that says, Joseph annoys his brothers. And also the take-home flyer is also Joseph and Noyce's brothers with an airplane on the back this week. <laughs> Very good. And we hope you are enjoying those worksheets. For right now, we are going to sing another fun song, and this one is called, of course, it has the word good in it, right? Good in every way. We hope you have a great week, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> Come on now, join with me, everybody sing. I'm gonna lift my voice to glorify my King. He is a mighty God and worthy of our praise. We give Him everything, He's good in every way. Come on now, join with me, everybody sing. I'm gonna lift my voice to glorify my King. He is a mighty God and worthy of our praise. We give Him everything, He's good in every way. He is always there for us. He's good in every way. Pouring out His awesome love. He's good in every way. He fills us up with peace and joy. He's good in every way.
king. He is a mighty God and worthy of our praise. We give him everything.